It is debate day in Canada. Preparations are underway for the federal leader's English language debate. Tonight's debate will be the first to welcome the six party leaders to the same stage. The two hour debate will cover five topics, including affordability and environment. Danielle Smith from Global News Radio 770 CHQR joins us to continue this conversation. And Danielle, you've set up a panel for yourself on your show today. Yeah, we're going to be talking with Stephen Carter and William Macbeth about what to expect tonight. You've got six candidates and five people asking questions. I, I, I mean, that's going to be complicated to manage, and I hope they don't talk over each other because that's sometimes the hardest part of, of watching a debate is they can all look like they're bickering with each other rather than getting their points across. So there's some interesting uh, analysis, though, because this is the first time that uh, that Justin Trudeau has been in an English debate. He uh, ditched out on the first one with the McLean's debate. That was only three of the leaders. Now we've got a couple of other additional faces on uh, on the on the stage. Uh, Yves-Francois Blanchet, as well as Maxime Bernier, which is such an interesting dynamic because those three leaders, if you include Justin Trudeau, are really trying to carve up the pie in Quebec, which will be very influential in determining the outcome of the election. So the question will be is, where are the targets going to be? Uh, obviously, Trudeau needs to have a two-front war. He's got to fight, fight that off. But in addition, he's got to score some points against Andrew Scheer, who's doing quite well, uh, obviously not only through the West, but in British Columbia and Ontario. And then he also has the uh, the Greens and the NDs fighting with each other to try to, to, to hive off some of that progressive vote. So it's, it's going to be a fascinating dynamic. One of the things I, I gather we're about to hear today is Andrew Weaver has a press conference scheduled. And so you, you have to wonder whether or not you've got provincial leaders that are trying to create problems or give a boost to their to their federal counterparts. Uh, so perhaps he's going to announce something that will uh, aid uh, Elizabeth May, his Green Party federal leader. Um, who knows? Maybe the coalition's about to break down in in uh, in British Columbia over the issue of LNG, because that's a very clear point of departure between those two parties. Meanwhile, um, you've had last week Rachel Notley quoted saying she might not even vote for the NDP at the federal level. So th there's uh, there's su such a f an interesting dynamic that's at play as well between the provincial leaders and whether they are a help or a hindrance to their federal counterpart. The main thing is nobody's had a breakout yet. Everybody is essentially polling exactly where they were when this when this election campaign began. So this could be a turning point today. Yeah, we'll see if uh, tonight changes anything, if there's any big moments for sure. I can't wait to talk to you about it tomorrow after the whole thing's over, Danielle. Oh, Have yeah, a good show today. Popcorn. It's going to be fun. Yeah, thanks, Danielle. Thanks.